can't help themselves. Fresh dirt. Got to dig in it. Because this weekend we are going to attempt to at least make the outer fence rectangle that's gonna go <laughs> that's gonna go around the chicken coop. Well, it's gonna encase the chicken coop and then there will eventually be an inner square rectangle fence within the fence we're going to do this weekend, creating a four fit perimeter of fenced in area that will be connected to the coop for a chicken run. So the chicken run is going to uh, go around the perimeter of what will be my new garden in the backyard. Her new garden. Our new garden. <laughs> so there's... He's going to be over there forever. <laughs> I think he is because he's taking his time. So this is really all we need right now? can't be all that we need, but I think it's all we're going to get. So we need the rest of the board and batten pieces. We have enough paint. Do you have rollers? I think we have one more little roller. Yeah, yeah one more little roller. Um, 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 um. Just walk around and find things that you need. No, that costs money. Um, I think this is it then. Okay, let's go. Like a glove. We made it. Who needs a truck? Who needs a trailer? Or a trailer.
step, uh, I think we're going to use some of the 4x4s that are on the ground and lay out where my inner fence might be so I can get an idea of how big the garden is. Just make sure it's not too oh, small. Oh, uh, man, we had a fight going on. Uh-oh. Uh, Chicken fight. Um, make sure it's not too small because now would be the time to make those adjustments. So. I don't know, but you think it's big enough? Yes. Okay. I mean, what's the, what's the square footage of that? I said that's a lot of space. So if it isn't obvious, we don't actually plan these things out. We have a very rough idea of what's going to happen, and then we just kind of start. Just wing it. And then we just chicken wing it. We'll just go to Lowe's, and Lowe's will tell us what we want to do. Start finding stuff. <laughs> so tomorrow, we'll drop, we'll put our lines in to mark out the outer fence. We'll go ahead and put our post in the ground. So we're going to have two on each side. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, with eight more. So that'll be two, four. And then we'll have one at eight, and then there'll be one closer to eight at the gate. Mm -hmm. And then the other one, four feet. Mm -hmm. And then one, eight, eight feet from the outer post. Unless you want to make it symmetrical. I think it look better symmetrical. And just do half. So we put our gate in, and then just split it down the middle. That'd be more symmetrical. I think it might look better. What? Oh, you mean, okay, start with the gate. Yeah. So put our gate in nice and level. Because if this is 32 and our gate is 4 foot, that's 28 foot. So we'd have 14. So we'd have 7 foot sections. 2 7 foot, 2 7 foot. Right. So I think that would look better rather than having an 8 and a 6 foot section. Yeah, that would look kind of silly. You guys want to go in your coop? You have a door. It's on the other side. Here, chicky chickies. Have we checked for eggs again? No, no, I haven't actually. Mm, no eggs. Nobody's picked up on it yet. They won't have much of a choice soon. What's up, graham cracker? go flap away. So that'll do it for tonight. We are going to pick back up tomorrow, run some lines, uh, put in some more holes and posts, and hopefully before the weekend's over, we'll have